Welcome back to the program, Mom. Zev Brenner. It's been a year, almost a year to the day that we had Karen Green with us. Then she was the editor and publisher of Jewish Star. We were looking at Hurricane Sandy, its impact on the Jewish community. Today we're speaking to her capacity as Chief Marketing and Business Development Officer of Ruskin Moscow Faltacek, a law firm based in Long Island. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Zev. Thanks Welcome for back. having me. Quite, quite a difference you. a year makes, right? It certainly does. It certainly does. But um, it's everything's everything's well. And how's it going? It's going well. It's um, it's a new challenge, but um, it's uh, it's been great. Um, I'm here in um, Ruskin Moscow Fault Check, which is a firm that was founded in 1968 and since has emerged as the preeminent Long Island law firm, one of the oldest and largest on Long Island. Um, we are a full-size business firm. Uh, we've been described as um, a New York City midtown law firm that happens to be located on Long Island. And um, we've been able to take advantage of being in a suburban setting and um, keep the cost of operations lower. And really what that translates into is our ability to offer the same quality legal services as a midtown firm, but at a much lower cost. Which is what people are looking for these days, right? Everybody's Absolutely. cost conscious. No, no question about that. Tell us what a chief marketing officer, a business development officer, does for a law firm. Well, um, it is my role to always br- to broaden the visibility and the exposure of the law firm. I'm certainly not putting a firm like RMF on the radar because it's been there; it's well established. But I'm keeping it on the radar. Right? 1968 was when it was founded, right? 1968. But I'm keeping it on the radar, radar um, in a variety of ways. Our um, um, attorneys, um, 60 of them, are constantly publishing in newspapers. Um, uh, they are writing law firm alerts that get emailed out. They are writing for legal journals. Um, I handle the press for the firm, certainly um, ads in, in newspapers. And we are approved to offer um, CLE, CLE credits, continuing legal education credits. And so you kept very, very busy. In fact, one of the things that you are involved with, and I should say the firm is involved with, is being a sponsor of the uh, Good at Israel Breakfast. How did that come about? Well, um, through our common friend, Ezra Friedlander, who mm-hmm. does um, PR Wonderful for work. the Good at Israel. He does great work. Um, and I certainly know him from uh, the government, political world, and press. Um, it seemed like a natural fit. We... We are very, very proud of our attorneys who are always actively involved within their communities, um, in the communities that they work and live. And um, it, um, we, we value that in addition to the work that we provide our clients. And certainly a Good at Israel as an umbrella organization um, for their community does the same. And we just thought it was a good fit, uh, especially since we, we are a general business a business law firm, but we do we have been able to develop a special niche in dealing with the Jewish world. And um, I know you had two of our partners on, and it just seemed like the the right fit for us. No, absolutely. The Jewish world is growing. The religious world is expanding, especially in New York. If you read the New York Times and Brooklyn, it's been increasing tremendously. Has been in other areas. So it's nice to see a firm that that understands the community and wants more of that community to be working with them. Absolutely. Um, really, Ruskin, Ruskin Moscow Faltacek, we like to describe ourselves as the partnership of innovation and law. And we have built so many cornerstone groups, um, including corporate and securities, financial services, commercial litigation, real estate. We have a large health care practice, uh, trust in estates and employment. We, in 2013, this year, we've expanded our um, our law firm to include practice groups such as digital media, international business, emerging companies, and we've expanded our already existing energy group that's chaired by our senior partner, Michael Faltacek. And um, we, we have over time developed, cultivated, and nurtured invaluable contacts and relationships um, in um, the financial, the venture capital, and business communities. And really what that does is that it, it um, heightens our um, uh, value-added services to our clients. Karen, how is your law firm different than other law firms? Manishtana, well, right? That's the question we normally ask by Passover. Right. That's, that's funny. Um, well, Zev, too often lawyers see only problems. Um, at Ruskin Moscow Faltacek, we are very dedicated to developing inno- innovative solutions um, to get the job done. It's really just about getting the job done. 
and that's important because they focus. I, I get the sense that they want they don't mind him handling even tough cases. I sometimes speak to attorneys, and they say, you know what, I recommend some of the really tough cases to other lawyers, but I get the sense is that they enjoy challenges. We do, and when we don't just look to solve problems, certainly we do, but we go beyond that, really looking to create opportunities. Um, we take tremendous pride in going beyond what is expected from most um, general practice law firms. Karen, any closing thoughts? Well, I just want to say how proud I am to be affiliated with a firm like Ruskin Masco Falterchek, whose attorneys are so actively involved within the communities in which, in which they work and live. Um, they are involved in lecturing and participating in professional groups and associations. They serve on uh, leading corporate, school, and government boards, and they do a lot of work in charitable and civic organizations, and it really speaks to how much we value not only our clients but our communities. Karen Green, former editor-publisher Jewish Star, currently the Chief Marketing and Business Development Officer of Ruskin, Moscow Faltercheck. Thank you for being here with us. If people want to get more information, how can they get in touch with you? They can call us at 516-663-6600, or they certainly can email me, Karen Green, that's K Green, K G R E E N, at rmfpc.com. Good having you back on the show. Let's not wait another year before having you back. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dev. Karen Green here on the Talk Line Communications Network. I'm going to be right back. Don't go away. Stay tuned.